Right, our first bottle of coke here. Uh, imagine a fairly runny magma, perhaps not so rich in dissolved gases. I'll give this a little shake anyway. And let's see what happens when we take the top off. Well, there's obviously quite a lot of froth, but the bubbles reach the surface of the coke, escape quite easily, and the gas is quite quickly released. In our second example, we've got coke with wallpaper paste added. It's obviously very gloopy. Give this a good shake and try the same thing. And here it's rather slower to erupt initially, but as you can see, it's producing this froth of viscous uh, magma, if you want, and that just keeps on coming and coming. What happens is, in a real eruption, that the magma begins to froth up below ground, shooting that material out of the vent, forming a, a Plinian-type eruption, producing ash clouds of pumice, and then when the eruption subsides, you'll notice that the froth within the bottle here actually drops back quite suddenly. When that happens in a real volcano, it can lead to collapse and the formation of a large crater known as a caldera as the volcano collapses down on top of the magma chamber beneath. And there it goes now, just dropping back.